Alright, welcome back. Today uh, we are going to show you how to use the A to SD commands to free up space on your ROM and give you the most optimal amount of space that you can have. Things you want to remember when you're doing this, one, your SD card has got to be partitioned and it has to be EXT2 to EXT3. Um, otherwise it's not going to work. Also, you want to make sure that you flash the A to SD zip file, uh, the Dark Tremors A to SD Beta 4, on top of your ROM. So when you flash your ROM, you flash your kernel, your themes, all your other add-ons, and then you're going to flash your uh, A to SD on top of it. And then when you reboot it, your phone should uh, two or three times, you'll, it'll do that heptic feedback buzz, go to your splash screen, and then it'll do it again uh, two or three more times before it actually boots. And that's just uh, the commands settling in and making sure everything goes where it's supposed to go. And then once all that's in and you've uh, added in all of your apps and uh, did your, your backup restores and got rid of all the apps that you don't want, you're going to go ahead and run the commands. So first thing you're going to do is open up your terminal emulator. Um, whichever app you use for that is is your your choice and then you're going to type in su for super user and then hit enter and that's going to grant you super user permission and then you're going to type a to sd data sd and it's very important that when you do this that you have a space between the a to sd and then data sd is all one word and then you're going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to run through the command. And then you're just going to leave it go and let it do its thing. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to go through all the flags and see what it, what's available and what's not. And then it's going to start uh, moving all of your data to various places. And then it'll reboot on its own. So you just go ahead and leave that. And after it reboots and comes back up, I'm going to show you how much space uh, it's given us. And then we will go for other commands that you can use on top. So hold tight and let your phone reboot and then come back and follow my next step. Alright, so our phone is rebooted. So now we're going to go and see uh, what our results are. And uh, Ada SD is capable of doing some various other things too. So we're going to uh, look and see what kind of space it created for us and then we're going to make some decisions on what we want to do from there. Um, if you're ever in doubt about what it can do or what the commands are, all you need to do is just open up your terminal emulator, type in su, enter, and then type in a2, the number 2, SD, space, help, and hit enter. And that will show you all the commands. So if you're ever not clear on it, you can open that up and see uh, what it's capable of doing. So what I'm doing now is I'm just opening up my device and you're gonna see how much space is on there now. So right now we've got 230 megs free and we've got 169 used. Now I didn't show you what I had before but I only had about 120 free so I have pretty much freed up almost double but I can make this even even more. I can free up a lot more space and we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna show you how that works. So we're gonna go back to our terminal emulator and we're gonna open that up and after you've run this this uh, command prompt uh, your phone might be slow for a little bit uh, you know five ten minutes. Uh, it's got to kind of readjust itself so to speak settle in if you will. So basically what we're gonna do now we're going to open our keyboard back up. Oops. And we are again going to type in SU, enter. That grants us our super user permission. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, uh, the help command so you can see uh, what we're talking about here. So we're going to type. My keeper disappeared. A2SD space help. Okay. 
and then that. Now this shows you everything that terminal emulator, uh, all the terminal emulator commands that are for Ada SD. So you can set your low memory settings. Um, if you're using a device that has um, an EXT3 to EXT4 conversion, you can do that here. Uh, you can also fix uh, broken apps or anything like that. You can set your uh, your heap size, uh, you can set your swappiness, you can align your zips if they're not already aligned. Uh, most ROMs have them aligned. You can uh, use BusyBox. Uh, it'll give you system info, it'll tell you what it's done, uh, what your partitions are, how much space is left on them. It can repair things. Uh, but here's what we want to do. We want to add some more free space or we want to get more free space. So really all you need to do is just read each one of these and decide which one you want to use. Now I know, because I've done this before, that if I use this one here, cached, it's going to move my Dalvik files to the EXT partition. And that's really going to free up a lot of space. Uh, if you want to, depending on uh, how much space you're looking for, you can move it to the, the cache partition, you can move it to the internal storage, you can move it to a couple different places. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the move it to the partition. Uh, so we're going to type in a two s d space c a cache. Oops, cache s d and hit enter. And then it's going to run through this, and it's going to check the flags. And it says the swap environment variable not found. It's starting it in cache mode. It's determining it and it's moving the Delvic cache to the system SD Delvic cache file. And again, all this is going to do is move your Delvic cache to your EXT partition. And we're going to let this go and it's going to do its thing again. Let it reboot again. I know this is kind of bothersome, but when you do this when you first install the ROM, uh, after it's all settled in, you're going to be glad that you did it because you're going to have a lot of free space and your, your phone's going to work quick and it's going to do a lot, uh, it's going to run a lot nicer for you basically. So once this reboots, I'm going to show you how much more space that's cleared up for us and uh, that'll pretty much be the end of the video. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so our device is booted back up and now we're going to see how much more space moving that Delvic to the EXT partition of the SD card has created. So I'm going to quickly show you here. I'm going to go to settings, phone storage, and you can see now the available space that I have is 414 megs of space, where before I ran that Delvic cache uh, move, I only had 220 megs left. So I had, I have created almost double the amount of space. Now one thing I forgot to tell you is if you are going to run these commands, uh, please, please, if you have your stuff moved to your SD card, if you have your applications moved to your SD card because you were trying to create space, move them all back. Take them all off your SD card. If you don't, you're going to end up with a lot of problems. Uh, moving the, running the commands while this is on the SD card is going to foul things up. So I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse here. Um, it's giving me the option to move it to the SD card, and I'm not doing that because there is no reason to. Um, you can see down here that I've only used 2.8 gigs of space, and I still have 26 gigs free. And I still have, these are all of the applications that I have installed on my device. I have a pretty fair amount of applications, and these are all just third party and, and additional apps. These are not even system apps. So don't put those on your SD card. If they are on your SD card, move them all back and then run the commands. And just so you can get a little better view of uh, what's going on here, we're gonna open this up and you can see how much is being used. I'm only using 12 megabytes of space for everything. That's my system apps, my installed apps, that's everything. That's all the, the eight episodes of Family Guy I have on here. 
all the videos that I've created myself on here, all the pictures that I have, the 140 some odd wallpapers that I have, and the, I don't know, thousands of songs that I have loaded up on here. And I still have all of this space left. So there you have it. Um, Dark Tremors A to SD uh, script commands. I highly recommend using it on your rooted device. Uh, click on the link below. It'll take you to the XDA page where you can find uh, the, the proper zip file. And again, this video is for the Evo 4G, the old school OG Evo. Uh, Dark Tremors is available for other devices, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, so you're going to have to fish around for it. Uh, go to xdadevelopers.com and uh, use the search bar to find out if it is available for your device. And again, if you haven't used it or don't know how to use it, there it is. It's very easy. Um, just be prepared to spend a few minutes letting it reboot and follow the commands and have fun with it. And my phone is now really fast. Not that it was slow before, but more space equals more speed. And we all know that. And you always want to have as much room available as you can so you can download all the stuff that you like to have. So there you have it. Uh, post any comments you have. Or if you have any questions, you can uh, mail me at phillymade at gmail.com or you can hit me up at phillymade at gtalk and I will try and help you out the best I can. Thanks for stopping by.